to the God of heaven, earth, and everywhere. Lift your hands to the boss. Shakahatehe sahayataha. Vendere brosha kalahaya. Mansele shakota nasa tishiti so. I feel the Holy Ghost moving right now. Just lift your hands. I see tumors dissolving. People, I see a woman with a growth in your reproductive organs. The Lord said it's going to be gone. You check yourself, it's gone. I see women, woman with the lump in the breast. You're going to begin to see and check it, it's gone. I see someone that had a very bad knee problem, bad problem in your knee. You had an accident and you broke something in the knee joint. And ever since you've been walking, you know, in a, in a funny way, but the Lord's going to straighten it out. It's happening right now. Come on, somebody, lift your hands and just believe with me. Miracles of healing all across this place. Spirit of grace, spirit of honor, spirit of favor for your people, spirit of life, uh, spirit of truth, Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, uh, the spirit, the breath of life, the one that brings the Zoe life of God, the glory of heaven on the earth. Jesus said, let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. There's miracles happening right now, even financially. I see people having their needs met. Things you need to happen, see happen in your finances. The Lord says, I'm, I'm bringing it forth. Get ready now. <laughs> Father, yes, Lord, I hear, I hear the Lord saying he's given the spirit of excellence to his workers. We're going to have the best of the best of the best of the best. I call it TBOTB. TBOTB, the acronym for the best of the best. TBOTB, the best of the best of everything. Equipment, people, land, properties, millions of dollars in my hand. Millions of dollars in my hands. Property and land given to us. Vehicles given to us. Uh, properties, the best of the best to exemplify the level of glory and favor even that you've given us to produce your assignment and your will, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for the expansion of property for your own elect servants. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for people in business that they're also going to prosper and become the most brilliant entrepreneur. Lift your hands right now if you're in business. God's going to give you the strategy. Let me tell you where wealth comes from. It doesn't just come from, you know, selling things. You can't make enough money. Look at Elon Musk. They got things done by strategy, by ideas. Bill Gates had the idea of, of taking the big giant computers that used to fill whole rooms and whole buildings. He says, I want to make a small one and have it on the desk of every human on the earth. And look, he became the richest man in the world. There has to be an idea and a strategy. Some things you don't have yet because you, don't, you haven't believed for them yet. Lift your hands, the spirit of faith. Korashai Sukulte. Farendela Achiso. The Holy Spirit is dropping gifts. Lift your hands. Angels of the Lord have come to this place to drop off gifts, packages from heaven. Even things you want that you've not spoken of yet. The Lord says, don't disappoint me by asking for small things. For small things are for children. Big things are for adults. In uh, 1 Corinthians 13, Paul said, when I was a child, I spoke like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Galatians 4 verse 1 said, you differ nothing then but from a servant, though you be Lord of all. Jesus has made his kings and priests unto him. Revelation 1, 6, Revelation 5, 10. And the 12th verse of Revelation 5 said, he came to give us power and riches and wisdom and strength. The spirit of might for strength, that means also health, it equates to health and strength. And then glory, honor, and blessing for the purpose of giving us dominion. Lift your hands. Your identity in God 
was set by Jehovah. It's not because it doesn't go by how you feel or how, what you see around you. You have to dig on deep on the inside of you and say, who am I really? I'm made in the image and nature of God. He made me his own offspring. So like I'm like a little God. I'm a small, a little king. A little Lord, because he's the big ones. Lift your hands. I pray and prophesy that the identity of the nature of God that God gave us already is going to begin to come forth into his people. Lift your hands. Some of you can't get this yet because it seems too advanced. You're still thinking like, how, how am I going to take care of my kids? Or how am I going to take care of my... Forget about all of that. I got to tell you very strongly, very sharply, very, very fiercely. Forget about all of those things and lift your hands to God and say, God, I want all that you have. I'm speaking prophetically here. It's the same prophet that spoke the things over the nation and you saw them come to pass. The superhighways, the new expressway, amen, the train lines across the country, the industries, the, the development of the nation of Kenya, cities and towns. All across the nation, I don't have time to mention them all. Same voice is now speaking to you and telling you this. Lift your hands right now. You gotta get you gotta cut the you have to cut off the things that are limiting you. I break every limitation off your people, Lord. Every demonic attachment, everything that tied them to anything evil and demonic, anything that attached them to the words of men that were evil and limiting, and people that said, you'll never amount to anything, you'll never have this, you'll never have that. The devil and his ugly friends are liars. The Lord is even upset if you think he can be. He was mad at many times in the Bible. We see in the Bible, he was very angry. And the Lord says, this angers me, that my people have not been liberated yet, though the spirit of liberty has already come. When Jesus breathed upon them in the upper room, even before, even after, received the Holy Spirit, and then it was settled that we are to walk in victory and dominion and power, and then when the Spirit of the Lord suddenly came and blew in the upper room, I was there in Jerusalem. I was there. I led a prayer service. The Israelite, who was a brilliant Torah businessman, who knew more about the Bible and history than, than all the Christians, I think, he appointed me, by the, he was led by the Spirit to appoint me to lead the per, prayer meeting in the upper room. And let me tell you, I stood in the very upper room where the disciples were. I was there. I have photographs of the event. And when I began to lift my hands to pray, the Spirit of the Lord began to blow in there again and breathe and move across the people. And I began to weep and cry and I said, Lord, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. It's like time never commenced. The same way that you poured it out, you're pouring it out again. And how many times how many places in the Bible did God say, I'm pouring out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will have visions. And I will pour out my spirit in those days upon all flesh. Even Philip had four daughters who were prophetesses. The evangelist who was translated. Let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit didn't leave. The earth, he's still here. Lift your hands. Every mantle that was ever on every any servant of God. William Branham, A.A. A. Allen, John G. Lake, Catherine Coleman, name them, Kenneth Hagen, Lester Sumrall, Oral Roberts, any of the great servants of God, Charles Spurgeon, D.L. Moody, Charles Finney, Maria Woodworth Etter, Amy Simple McPherson, Jack Coe the, in the healing revival. One night he pulled 63 people out of wheelchairs in a meeting. 63 people in wheelchairs, all 63 got up and walked. I have a video clip I posted on my social media and it said, uh, uh, it talked about a woman who was crippled from a car accident for two, two and a half decades, 25 years, somewhere, 20 something years, 
And then this evangelist from England, I think he's from England, and he prayed for her. And, 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 and a feeling came back in her legs and they pulled her out of the wheelchair. And after 20 plus years in a wheelchair, she began to walk. At the end of the video clip, she's walking like this. Just normal, with her husband like this, strolling along, like nothing ever happened. Amen, somebody. So the same spirit of the, of the power of God that was on people anywhere in the history of the church, lift your hands, is still in the earth today. But the Lord says, have I found a man, have I found a woman who will pick up the mantle and walk with it? Catherine Kuhlman, the great healing evangelist, who was just possessed by the Holy Ghost, she said, you can have anything I have if you can pay the price. This is the problem. People don't want to pay the price. The price of spiritual power is death to self, consecration to the Lord. Giving yourself completely over to him. Lift your hands. Come on. I'm only on for about a 15 minutes here or so. I'm just doing this little segment here. I'm not even going to tell you to sit down. Stand up. Stay up. Stay up. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm prophesying. After this, we can sit down and transition. And of course, Archbishop is coming. Rasha Kalaha. The great servant of the Lord who a mantle of the apostolic fire and grace is upon him. In our generation, he's a father and a general in the nation. The hand of the Holy Spirit is so strongly upon him. But I'm concerned about everybody else. Isn't that a key there? You have to follow instructions. God can speak something and then you start to do it and you go somewhere else. So you don't get distracted. Don't do that. Shut your hands out toward me right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands out toward me, toward me, toward me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, such as I have, give I unto you the price for the, the ministry of the prophet that I've carried around the nations of the world on all six continents of the earth. More than about three dozen countries now. And that's a few. We have many more to go to. What it costs me to walk in this glory. The pain, the anguish, the suffering, the spiritual, the death to self, the sacrifice. Amen. Sometimes I wouldn't wish it upon an enemy, never mind a friend. But can you handle the price? If you can handle the price, you can get the prize. If you can pay the price, you can get the prize. Lift your hands right now, everybody. If you can pay the price, this is the question. You can't think I'm called of God, I can just live my life any old way, and it's okay. No, it's not okay. You'll suffer. And then the Holy Spirit has his own way of making decisions for us, and he wants us to make those same decisions. Say amen. And then when we do that, we stay the course. We stay with it. We don't deviate. We don't divert ourselves. Lift your hands. I pray for the grace. You know, some people just like to have a... I don't know what they what they really people really want sometimes. I, I did a broadcast the other night and the Lord spoke to me. I think it was the day I was here. Friday, yeah, Friday night after I was here. The last uh, session and the Lord said, What do you want? A question from heaven. What do you want? And I began to, to teach and I speak and I said, Lord, I want what you want. I want what you want. If what you want lines up with what he wants, he will grant it. 1 John 5, 14 and 15 said, when you ask things according to his will, he will grant you the petitions that you've asked of him. John 15, 7, Jesus said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, then you'll ask for what you will and it'll be done for you by my Father who's in heaven. Mark 11, 24, he said, the things you desire, when you pray, believe you receive them and you'll have them. He said also in the Psalm 34 and 37, you read those two Psalms, one of the verses there says, he grants us the desires of our hearts. 
Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 said, Honor the Lord, of course, with your substance and your giving, yes. But then also with your heart attitude, your life petitions before him. And then he will begin to fulfill those things and direct your path and lead you in the way of truth. Isaiah 48, 17, God had the prophet Isaiah. The Holy Spirit had the prophet Isaiah say, that I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit and leads you in the way you should go. Lift your hand. Some of you, many people have not been profiting. And the Lord said in the other, in the other session I was here, I think on Tuesday, the first day I spoke at this conference. It's my third time now. The Lord, thank you, thank you, Bishop, for the, for the grace and the favor. I thank God for the privilege be here with you to speak as God's servant and voice and mouthpiece to you. The Lord says poverty is a stench in my nostrils. It ought not to be. Lift your hands. I eradicate poverty right now. I preach to people. I speak this to people. I declare this to people. I prophesy this to people that can begin to build a life that's beautiful before God and that God will inhabit the praises of you. Even your work is praise. Even your thinking when it's brilliant is praise. Even your planning and your, 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 your developing of things is praise. God, I feel the Holy Ghost here right now. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, give me one hallelujah right now. Give him a hallelujah right now. <laughs> Yeah, your life is worship. Sometimes we think our worship is a song, but your life is a mess. Uh-oh, I better get into it here. Sometimes you think, oh, I come to church and I sing three songs and I shake a little bit, you know, and I do this and then... God says, what about all the other things in your life? Let's pray. Let's pray. This is a prayer time. This is a prayer time. Lift your hands to the Lord. And say, Lord, please fix my life. Please help me fix my life. To be an excellent representation of you in the earth. Please, Lord, help me. The things I want to fix, I'm going to work to fix. Yes. And the things that I can't fix, it's you that has to help me fix them. He's our comforter. He's our teacher. The Holy Spirit. John 14, 26. And we see the, the book of John 14, John 15, John 16. About the Holy Spirit. He is the one who leads us and guides us into all truth. He's our teacher. He's our advocate. He's our helper. He's our standby. He's our intercessor. Hallelujah. He's the glory and the lifter of our head. So he helps us in these things. He's our great teacher. Someone say the Holy Spirit is my teacher. Pray in the Holy Ghost, everybody. I release the fire. Not just so you can feel something. Not just so you can be a little bit relieved of a problem you're having right now. No, no, no. No, that's not, that's not what I want to release. That's not what I want to pray about. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to release the fire on you that you can fulfill your destiny. Lift your hands. The calling that God has for you. The mission he has established for your life. Are you hearing God's prophet here? Are you hearing God's prophet? The mission that he has. What is that? And then you have to ask yourself and answer the question that God is asking. What do you want? Glory is falling here. Can you feel the touch of him? Just pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Just close your eyes and talk to the Lord. And let's let, let, repent. Repent for not doing all that he wants. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Lift your hands up, just wave to the Lord and say, Lord, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Come on, come on, tell him, tell him I'm sorry for diverting the course. 
Kora Shalahai. Father, we command everything that we need in Jesus' name. Come on, talk to the Lord with me right now and agree with this. Everything I need to fulfill your will, Father, give it to me now. I'm sorry for the past, but I can't change the past. It happened already. I can't even deal with the present so much. The only thing now is the future. The future is the thing that I committed to your hands. Lift your hands up right now and say, Lord, I put my future in your hands. Please direct me. Let me make perfect decisions. Perfect decisions. Perfect decisions. That I may fulfill thy holy will for my life. In Jesus' name. You have a pulpit set up here. I guess you're going to preach to us. Son. Okay. Hallelujah. More later. I'm not done, but more later. Shut your hands out toward me right now and say, Lord, I want to partake of the grace of heaven that's upon your servant and your servant. As they've done, so help me to do. As it is for my life, let things be unfolded according to your will and plan. And I prophesy and declare that the greatness that God has put in you is going to manifest now in this season like you've never seen. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you receive that? Someone shout, I receive it. Yes. Come on, shout again. I receive it. I receive it. Now lift your hands again and say, Lord, be it unto me according to thy word and thy will. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm Thomas Manton the Ford. Love you much. I'll see you again real soon. Love you. Have a great day. Siku Jema. Hallelujah. Ubada Kiwe. On Asif Iwe. Come on, somebody. Ubada Kiwa Pia. God bless you so much. We are happy to have you around. God bless you. Makofi Mazuri Pia. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.